Welcome back to the show. Yep, we're still here. <laughs> Our next guest has had a sellout 2013 Melbourne International Comedy Festival show simply titled Plums. You might know her as team captain on Channel 10's Good News Week. Stop, collaborate and listen. I suspect with a brand new invention. Something grabs a hold of me tightly. Sun like a hot moon daily and nightly. Would it stop? Yeah, I don't know. Turn off the lights and I'll float to the extreme. I rock a mic like a van or light up a stage and watch a jump like a candle. Dang. Keep that going for Claire Hooper! I'm well, thank You're you. You're well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just arrived back in Melbourne. My favourite place. Yeah. Do oh, people... okay. Do... They're very oh, discerning. Less loyalty than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I'll play this crowd. I know where they're from, but no. See, I thought you were going to go with, I just flew back to Melbourne, and boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, OK, they're not that's, that... that's why he's the host, <laughs> Yeah. Speaking of uh, hosting, the last time uh, we were together on camera was when I was hosting a show and you were a special guest. Have you, do you remember this? Have a look. <laughs> Two cans of Coke. Yes. What did Guy Sebastian win on the first series of Australian Idol? <laughs> Julie sweat during one episode of MasterChef. Two cans of coke, baby. Peanuts. Yes. What does uh, Edward Cullen's balls look like? <laughs> Why didn't that show keep on going? <laughs> oh, doesn't that show how long ago that was? 2009. Back when people made jokes about MasterChef and Twilight. <laughs> season, <laughs> season one of MasterChef as well. Yes, Julie Goodwin. Julie Goodwin. Yeah. Now, you are uh, best known for your work on Good News Week. Now, how was that experience working with, with you know, some pillars of uh, Australian I know. comedy? I know, and it still gives me a thrill to see them. And I just <laughs> had lunch with them today. Is that, is that a sort of weird thing to say? Like, I don't get to see the guys. So, so Ted Robinson mm -hmm. um, and Mikey and Paul and I just had lunch in Sydney and I still look at them and go, because uh, they're talking about like the old days of Triple J. Oh yeah, that's right. Or back when they were, I don't know. And, and, and even, more, you know, like they just have this, these 20 year CVs and I sit there and I still feel like a teenager around them. <laughs> well, that, well, it and, was amazing. And Good News Week pulled some amazing, amazing uh, guests and celebrities on the yes. show as well. Were there any like highlights for you, some people that you like, you know, had, you, know you went back into your teenage Claire phase of going, oh my God, I'm with this person? Yeah, heaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite often. Um, I remember we had um, Scorpio from The Furious Five, you know, Grandmaster <laughs> Flash and The Furious Five. Yeah. And, and Scorpio, and he fully like, man, he was still rocking it like it was the <laughs> early 80s, by which I mean he. Oh, he, he, came up to, he came up to me and he was like, baby, give me a hug. And he had his like entourage around and he was... And I was like, yes, Mr Scorpio. <laughs> you know, like, like I was like, momentarily, I had forgotten that feminism happened. Because <laughs> I, sh I should have been like, no, sir, you give me a hug. Yeah. <laughs> it's my show, but <laughs> whatever you want, Mr Scorpio. Anyway, it's, yeah. So, um, the final episode of Good News Week was filmed uh, for Comedy Festival in front of the massive crowd. How was that after all the work that you put into it and, you know, to say... Knowing it was, that it was over? Yeah, yeah. How yeah. was that? Yeah. Are you looking for tears? Because it really oh. just... Um, we had just... fire, we want tears now, we want the whole yeah. range of emotions. Um, it was wonderful. It was really... It was lovely. The room was warm. I was with all my friends. But you're still just doing a job. And we... You can hear yourself there. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Don't play... That's from Good News World. How was working oh. on, on Good News World with Sammy J and Randy and all those types? Did they learn from you? I'm just going to... 
I'm just going to say... Yeah, say it. I freaking hated that sketch. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was really... There were many trials and tribulations on that show. It was amazing working with Sammy J, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Heath McIver, who plays Randy, and mm. Cal was on it, and Tom Gleeson was... I mean, like, it was a good gang to hang out with, but it was a bit of a funny project that all of us came into with reservations. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Credit to the writers, but they wrote that ridiculous play school political sketch and I just hated it from the first moment, but it was the one that everybody loved. So they kept doing it every week oh. and that was... Oh, I hate Did you feel dirty? Did you yes. feel like, yes? Oh, I hate it. Oh, did you need to clean yourself when you got home? Yes. Scrub it, get the loofah. Yes, they did. Oh, wow. But I, but, I, but I always clean myself when I get home. Oh, you do? Yeah, even if I enjoy what I'm doing, I still... <laughs> Going into a bit more detail. <laughs> um, so, Plums, Plums was your show this year. Yeah. And you did an interesting thing. You actually put uh, your favourite facts about Plums all up around your favourite areas and, and on chalkboards and stuff like that. And yeah. Yeah. And oh. so what, do you, what is what is some of your favourite facts about Plums? Like, uh, like your, I is your that one. is your favourite um, Plum a Satsuma? Really? Yes, it is. Yeah. Although this. Uh... <laughs> I, like, I, like, I like. I like. the the Plum Venn diagram you've made. Oh yeah, I love Venn diagrams. <laughs> I don't know why more people don't. Oh, look at this. Uh, I was. I was hoping. I was hoping this would inspire a bit more conversation, but it's turned. No, it's just like a really fast slideshow, and it's, everyone's it, reading. It, it, it turns like it's, it's like oh, those really Buck bad. Buck Shelford. <laughs> that is an amazing story. Is, oh yes. Buck Shelford, the story of Buck Shelford. Tell, I, I have no idea. How many people don't even know this story? I, I don't know. know. Tell much, me the story. How much time do we have? Oh, as much time as you want. I don't think that's true. Well, so, um, <laughs> someone might try and set fire to something. So. Yeah. Um, that's always been a really the last resort way of getting a comedian off stage. It's like, uh, fire! <laughs> So that's not a times fires have broken out right when I'm getting it. Whatever. Um, <laughs> Buck, Buck Shelford was an All Black. Oh yes. Um, and I think it was 1986. It was this legendary game in the 80s they were playing against France. Buck Shelford. Oh my! It's just he. They were in a scrum. He took a boot to the nut and he slit it open and and one came out. Oh. No, right now. Okay. <laughs> and he went off to the sidelines got it stitched back in by the team physio without anaesthetic <laughs> and played the rest of the game. Like, can you imagine? I mean, I know our AFL guys are tough and stuff, but can you imagine if they lost an actual nut? If one came out, they would be like, ah, uh, I might just... I might just go back to the whatever the rooms are called. You know, like he you played the rest of the game. And then at the end of the game, he was in another scrum and he got booted in the head, got concussion and has no memory of it. Claire <laughs> 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 Hooper! Woo! Yeah. You can follow Claire Hooper online. She has got her website, clairehooper.com. Oh, been don't go there. I don't update it. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Claire Hooper, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. stick around. This is Love yeah. After the break, Rob chats with the one and only David Hasselhoff. You're watching Live on Bowen.